What's going on guys? It's Cal here from Buffalo Sports Center. Today we are doing NFL Week 11 predictions, so let's jump right into it. Thursday night football. We have an absolute heater this week, a divisional matchup. The Washington Commanders are headed to Philadelphia to take on the Eagles. Now again, the Eagles looked shaky last week, but they got it together and beat the Cowboys. Meanwhile, the Commanders did not look so great. I'm going to take the Eagles at home here. I think they stay on a roll. Again, I could see the Commanders winning this game, but I'm going to take the Eagles. I, I just I, Something's telling me to take the Eagles. Something's telling me the Commanders are going to go on a little bit of a slip here. I don't think it's really going to affect their season. I think they're still playoff bound for sure, but give me the Eagles here on Thursday Night Football. Now let's shift over to our 1 o'clock slate on Sunday. Starting with a not-so-fun game, the Las Vegas Raiders heading into Miami to take on the Dolphins. I got to take the Dolphins here. The Dolphins look to be getting a little bit back to form, right? Tua's been back for a couple weeks now. Tyreek Hill looks fully healthy. The Raiders just don't look good. So I'm going to take the Dolphins there. The next game, the Browns going into New Orleans to take on the Saints. Give me the Saints, right? They have a new coach. They looked fired up last week. I got to take the Saints here to, you know, they beat the Falcons last week, which was shocking. I don't know if anyone expected that, but new coach, usually that changes momentum. So give me the Saints here. The Browns, again, not a very good football team. Moving on, the Indianapolis Colts trying to bounce back from a loss against the Bills, heading in to MetLife to take on the Jets. Man, this Jets team just, you know, they, they just can't get it going, huh? I, I just... I mean, if I was a Jets fan, I would be so disappointed right now and disgusted. I mean, you have so much talent on that team and just, I don't know, it, it just isn't it isn't meshing well at all. So I'm going to take the Colts here on the road. I think Anthony Richardson steps back into play, uh, if I had to guess here. Again, I'm filming this video but a little bit before it gets released, so if that's announced, I'm sorry. But I will take the Colts on the road here to beat the Jets. I think the Jets season is over. Moving on, we have the Minnesota Vikings going into Tennessee to take on the Titans. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I would have told you this was one of the easiest games to predict, but the Vikings did not look good at all last week against the Jaguars. I'm still going to take them, though, because the Titans are just, you know, not a very good football team at all. I think the Vikings get it back going. Um, and again, I expect a big day from Jay Janda. So give me the Vikings there. Moving on, we have the Packers going into Chicago to take on the Bears. Now, you know, th this could be a solid game. Um, this is that historic rivalry that seems to never really pan out. I mean, you know, you, you could you could get red in the face talking about how good of a rivalry this is. But when's the last time they've had a good game? I couldn't tell you. Uh, I am going to take the Packers on the road. Again, that Bears offensive line is just not good at all. They're banged up. They're injured. And the backups that have come in have not been able to block at all. And, you know, very disappointed in this Bears team so far this year. So give me the Packers on the road. Next game, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars heading in to Detroit to take on the Lions. Again, I got to pick the Lions. The Lions threw, what was it, five interceptions? against the Texans, and they still found a way to win. Again, two big field goals that barely went in back-to-back uh, -back there for the Lions. So I have to take the Lions against the Jaguars. I know the Jaguars looked okay last week, but, you know, shout out to Mac Jones. He's, he's doing his thing over there. You know, uh, glad that he gets an opportunity here, but I got to take the Lions. Next game, we have the Rams going in to Foxborough to take on the Patriots. And oh boy, this is this is a stinker, right? I mean, the Rams, they, they had a huge game two weeks ago, big overtime win against the Seahawks, and then they really crumbled last week. Meanwhile, the Patriots remain, you know, one of those teams that, um, yeah, just, just is kind of waiting for the season to be over. It seems to have a solid quarterback, though. I mean, you know, if you're a Patriots fan, you got to be excited about that, but everything else, not really. I'll take the Rams on the road to, to win this one by maybe a touchdown. Moving on, uh, this is uh, an absolute banger of a game, potentially the game of the week at the 1 o'clock slate. We have the Ravens going into Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. And how about those Steelers, huh? I mean, that team is just on a roll. I mean, Russell Wilson looks great. That defense looks great. Now, you know, they, they did have a couple of crucial injuries towards the end of that game last week, um, you know, but... They, they they look really good, but the Ravens just, I, I just, I don't know how anyone's going to stop this team. I got to pick the Ravens on the road. I hate doing it, but again, Lamar Jackson, Henry, it, it just, I mean, you, you cannot stop that backfield. I don't care how, what receivers the Ravens have. I know they don't have a whole lot of them, but with Mark Andrews out there finally starting to get some touches and that, you know, running back core, 
yeah, I, I can't pick against them. So give me the Ravens here. Now we're moving on to the four o'clock slate on Sunday. We will have three of these games. Uh, first, we have the Seahawks taking on the 49ers um, in San Francisco. Now, this is a game where, again, in the beginning of the season, I might have been more excited about it. But right now, I mean, it's I, I guess it's big for the division. But, you know, two teams that have been very mid. I'll take the Niners here to, to squeak this one out at home. Again, I just think the Seahawks, ever since that Bills game, honestly, just have haven't looked good, so I gotta take the 49ers. Moving on, we have the Falcons in Denver to take on the Broncos. Again, another game where I'm gonna let last week's results sway me. The Falcons look terrible. The Broncos almost beat the Chiefs. Give me the Broncos at home to bounce back from that terrible blocked field goal where they ended up losing. Speaking of the Chiefs, Let's talk about the game of the week, and no, I'm not just saying that because I'm a biased Bills fan. I'm saying that because this is a huge game, 9-0 versus 8-2. Uh, Chiefs at Bills at 425. Call me crazy, I'm taking the Bills. The Chiefs' miracle run has got to come to an end. Again, I'm not going to say they're lucky. Good teams find a way to win, and they've found a way to win nine times this year, 9-0. and But i got to take the Bills here. I don't care what receivers are healthy for the Bills. I think the Bills are just on a roll right now, and I think the Chiefs are due for a loss. It has to come eventually. The Bills know they have a bye week coming up after this game, so I think maybe they push some of those injured guys to step it up and play in this game. They know it's a big game for the AFC standing, so I'm going to take the Bills here at home. If it was in Kansas City, I'd probably take the Chiefs, uh, but I'm definitely going to take the Bills here at home. Moving on to Sunday Night Football, Cincinnati Bengals going into LA to take on the Chargers. Man, this is this is another one of those games where earlier in the season you might have been a little more excited, but the Bengals are trying to fight. They're trying to claw back up in the standings. The Chargers have honestly just been a very solid team this year. You know, nothing too special, but they've been hanging in the playoff race. I am going to take the Chargers at home to win this one. I just... Something's telling me to take the Chargers. I, I know the Bengals have been looking a little better each week. But again, they, they've just had a disaster season so far. So I'm going to take the Chargers. Ending on Monday Night Football, we have the Texans going into Dallas to take on the Cowboys. I got to take the Texans here, right? I mean, the Cowboys have Cooper Rush. They have Trey Lance. But Dak Prescott just went into surgery at the day of this recording. So... Again, he, he won't be playing anytime soon. And without Dak Prescott, that Cowboys team just looks flat on offense. So I have to take the Texans here. So that's going to wrap up my Week 11 uh, predictions here. Super excited about this NFL season so far. I cannot wait for playoffs, but we still got a whole lot of regular season to go. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys agree with my picks, if you disagree with some games, and what games will you be watching this week? Only the primetime games, the select, you know, couple of the middle games, or are you, you know, red zoning it all up and watching every single game at once? Let me know in the comments section below, and that will be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.